Let's continue our demo on default or out-of-the-box functions and in this demo I'll focus on the user-defined functions. But I want to call your attention to a mapping issue right here and see if you can help me trap an error. In the previous demo I had created a transformation that took name and made it uppercase just as, the, as to show you how default functions work and a simple requirement that says take the name and make it uppercase. Does anyone notice a problem here? A logical problem? Well yes, here it is. I linked the wrong port. It should have been out name should have been the port that I should have linked. Oops, I double clicked. So the output port that I want should have been the one linked. There it is. I made the correction. But this allows me to introduce a couple concepts here. First of all, best practice design and also dealing with ports. Notice from a best practice, I am releasing ports that are going out but don't have any purpose. I'm not going to do anything with them. So when that is the case, a good policy is to remove the ports so that they don't leave. So in this case, I'm going to go to ports and notice name I don't need downstream, so why even make it output? Just leave it as input and then the out name should be output as I want it and that would have avoided the problem that I had earlier. So notice name is only input, not output, so I don't even have a choice to select it. O name, output name, is an output, uh, an output port and that's the one that I linked. So that's the correction. Now let's focus on user defined function. Let's assume the requirements now call for that we want to take item. Remember what item has. If you looked at the data, it has the word Apple, uh, the, the kinds, of, kinds of purchases that have been done. So you can go and profile this data. Let me just bring it in. And now the requirements say that you want, you want to make this uppercase, but also you want to trim the leading and trailing spaces. Now we could have coded this the same way as I did name but I'm going to show you a different way. So first of all, let me get my ports ready. I know that this should be input and I'm not going to need it downstream so I'll, I'll deselect it. I'm going to add two ports, one called V for variable. This allows me to introduce the, the concept of a variable port. Remember a variable port is a port that does not leave, does not come in, and it's only visible in the transformation. So I'm going to make it variable. And what do I want here? Well, that's where I'm going to write my user defined function. Right now, I'll just leave it as that. Whatever V name will be assigned with, will, whatever I assign to it, I'm going to create a port call O item, and this will only be output, and this will be assigned the value of whatever I do to V item. There it is. So I sort of have my skeleton ready. The only thing I'm missing now is the requirements make it uppercase and left and right trim. Now notice I'm going to go to V item and notice under functions I do have the uppercase because I used it. Is there a function to trim and to trim the spaces? Well I see L trim and there is a uh, R trim for right. So I could apply these the L trim, the right trim and the the uppercase but what I want to do is create a user defined function. So I'm going to go to the left hand side right uh, on the right hand side of my folder and what I want here under user defined function is create a new one. I'm going to call this I'm going to call this upper trim just because I don't have a better name upper trim um, let's say upper trim item just because of lack of a better name I called it that but you should pick gen best practice and generic names the function is public because I want someone to be able to access it. You can type it as a description and then the argument. The argument here will be the input argument which is of type string and remember I'm going to send it item. So let me stop for a second because notice that I have to move this aside and figure out what our trim is. Well let me just leave it in a moment and I'll make this 20. I, actually I'll make it 10 and I'll come back and change it in a moment. Now the editor. Now what I want here is first the upper string function of what new argument and then I also want to include 
the L trim and the R trim and properly close it. Let's see what happens if I make a mistake. Validate, notice it says on the status bar invalid. So let me close it properly, validate, and there it is, valid. You can see that on the left hand side. The validate is a little bit different when you use the, the uh, user defined function expression editor. So there I saved it and you could also rename the argument if you want but I think for right now that's all I want and what was our function call? Well first of all I want to make sure that item, oops notice item is 20 the output port is 10 so I can see that I already have some logical mistakes. If item is 20 then the variable port should be 20 otherwise I'm going to experience some data truncation so I'll make that and now I can go ahead and go now to my user defined function and go ahead and edit it and now I know that this should be 20 and oops it says valid integer yes that's what I'm trying to do and uh, let's see what else and that's pretty much it save this and now I'm going to invoke it so going back to the expression transformation in the V port notice that I'm going to take the item that was there and now you see under user defined functions I shall see my super function and the argument now is the V item port validate make sure there's no errors there it is click OK and at the moment apply this and validate and save and there it is it's valid and that means that my mapping is now correct. Now I'm not going to take the time to run this because the purpose was to show you that I have used the various functions that come with the product as well as created my own user-defined function. So that concludes this demo. Thank you.